Do you onboard new employees and want to streamline that process? Well, let me show you how with JotForm Workflows. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you are in charge of new employee onboarding, allow JotForm Workflows to really streamline that process for you. So I'm gonna go and get started, top left-hand corner. We can see that we're currently in My Forms. I'm going to jump over into My Workflows. And from here, top left corner, we're going to create a workflow. And for this example, we can either start from scratch if we know exactly how we want this to look, we can have a one-step approval or we can utilize a template. So for this example, I'm going to use a template. And we can see one of the featured templates for workflows is an employee onboarding workflow template. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this template. Now, the beauty of JotForm workflows is it allows your user to complete one action and it puts multiple things into play. So I love the workflows process because you have this really nice bird's eye view. So we can see up here at the top, we have the starting point is a form. So once they complete this new employee onboarding form, it kind of goes through the process. We're going to verify documents. We're going to add a Google Meet to our calendar. They're gonna get that welcome email. It's gonna go through the final approval process. If everything is good to go, they're gonna upload the documents to Google Drive. If it's not, we're gonna to need to complete those missing documents. Once it's complete, we'll get them in Google Drive and then the process ends. And like I mentioned, this is really going to allow you to be hands off with things because the process is going to do all of the heavy lifting for you. Now, because I utilized a template, it went ahead and created a form for us. Now, if you already have created a form, we can easily switch out this form for one that you already have. But let's go ahead and view this form so we can see what it looks like, what it's gonna be asking for. We have some general information. And then we also have a next page where they're going to add their bank details and also going to upload a document. So if we head on back, we can see that they're gonna verify those documents right here. So if we click on the settings, we can see this is a task property. And this is also something that is new within our workflow process. And we can see that each of these steps is going to come to me for this example, but you get to choose who has access to each one of these points. Maybe this is an HR assistant who gets to verify these documents. Then down here, the overall approving is the overall hiring manager. You have different places where you can input different people to support this process. So again, if I click right here, we have our task details and we see that it is verify documents and assign training schedules. Now, if we need to add more information of what that looks like, we can add that here. Let's just go ahead and add more info. So what, that way we can see what it looks like when we customize this. Down here, we can add that assignee. So if we want, we can type in an email address or if the person who is filling out the form inputs someone special like their manager's email, we can pull from the form fields and add that in right here. But let's go ahead and customize this task. And we can see right here, verify documents and assign training. And again, if there's more information needed, we can add that here. We also have the ability to add some very simple fields if needed, short text, long text. We can even add a file upload here. And then of course we have our response as complete. So let's head back over to our workflow builder. Once this is complete, it's gonna drop down into a Google calendar. So let's go ahead and complete these settings. Now, do we just wanna create an event or do we wanna create an event with Google Meet? For this, I'm gonna go ahead and do an event with Google Meet. We'll do next and authenticate. And here is where we can customize what that event looks like on our calendar. So first we're gonna choose which calendar we want this to go to. Then we can customize the meeting title. Right now it's gonna be the form title, which is going to be the new onboarding. So I am going to get rid of that and we're gonna pull from our form fields. I'm gonna pull the person's name and then we can do onboarding call. So every single one is going to have that onboarding call, but the name is going to change based on the name that's in that form. We can add some required attendees. Maybe we want to pull in the email of their manager if they're inputting that in there. Then we have our start time and our duration. So the start time is gonna come from the appointment field that was in our form. So we can pull from that appointment and we can choose a 30 minute appointment slot. And we can also add form fills to the event description. So we can pull anything as needed. So maybe we want to pull their position and who they report to. But again, you can see we can add as many as we'd like to this field and we can go ahead and save. Perfect. So now we can see this one is completed. Now, of course, now we have the welcome email. So we can look at the settings here and we can make this look exactly how we want this to look. As of right now, it looks like it's pulling in the form details, but we can 
click over here and we can delete the entire thing and start from scratch. We can say, welcome to the team, have more information here. So we can go ahead and save this and we can come down to the overall approval process. So we can see here, we have the approval properties. We have two different outcomes, approve or deny. If we want, we can add a new outcome here. We can change what that looks like, color, as well as the name of the outcome. We have our approvers. If we need to pull from our form, multiple approvers, we can do that, or we can add them in one by one here. Then we have some completion rules. We can have a response from the majority, a response from all, a response from one person, or a certain number of responses. I'm gonna go ahead and have this be a response from one person for this, and we can also edit that notification email as well. So we can say, you've been approved, and we'll save. And if it has been approved, we have uploading those documents into our Google Drive. So let's complete this setting here. We'll add an action. And we need to enter a folder name. So we'll call this one new employee onboarding. And yes, we want a subfolder for each submission within that main folder. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the submission ID and we can put their name and we can also do the submission date. And if we want, we can put their title right here. Now we can send the submission PDF to Google Drive as well in addition to whatever they upload. So we're gonna go ahead and choose to do that. And we're also going to add that text declaration form that they're going to upload. So let's go ahead and save. And right over here, if it is missing documents, we have a task that was created. And of course, we're going to complete the missing documents. This is going to be the same process as the verifying documents right up here. But now we can go ahead and finalize the same thing as before. Go ahead and add action. And we can go ahead and yes, new employee onboarding, new submission. And again, We'll add their name, submission date, and their position. And we'll add both of these documents, perfect. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and give this all a test. I'm gonna go up to our publish option and we will open in a new tab. And I'll go and get this filled out. All right, and we will submit our form. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over into our workflow area. Now, because I'm already in JotForm, I can go ahead and jump over into my inbox. But if you're not in JotForm, you as the approver, any point of this process, you are going to receive an email to let you know that you have a task to complete. So that first one is going to come to me and say, hey, you have a task to verify these documents and get it scheduled for that Google Meet. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my inbox. All right, here is John Smith. Let's scroll down to the bottom. We can see right here, I have a task to complete. So we'll view that task. All right, we're good to go. We have verified his documents. We're gonna sign the training schedules complete. Let's go ahead and submit. All right, we can head back and we can see right there, it said it was running integrations. We can see that it has created a Google Meet. So let's go ahead and check my calendar. And here is John Smith's onboarding call. It went ahead and created that Google Meet link. I have that information that we requested inside the details. All right, let's go ahead and head back over here. Now we have that overall approval of this new employee onboarding. So yes, if I need to add comments, I can do that here, but we can go ahead and approve. And so now we have those integrations because we approved it, all of those documents, the submission PDF and the document that John Smith uploaded is now going to be within Google Drive. And we can see that down at the very bottom right down here, Google Drive. So let's go ahead and open up Google Drive. So we can see with that integration, it went ahead and created a brand new folder for us the new employee onboarding folder. And we also have an individual folder inside with John Smith's information, the date and time, as well as his position title. So we click on this, we have two different things. We have the document that they uploaded, and then we also have the PDF of their full submission data. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm workflows to help streamline your onboarding process, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.